You know, I, uh, I think that, that our week of practice set the tone uh, for us defensively and, and uh, thought our bench did a really good job. We, you know, we had a rule tonight that if, if your man scored on you in the first five minutes, you were coming out. So we subbed a lot quicker than we ever have. Um, thought defensively we played a really good first half and, and uh, give, give UNLV credit. I thought they played, a, you know, played us tough in the second half. And uh, we understand that, that, that we have to go back down to Vegas in two weeks. And, and uh, they're a talented team. And Marvin does a good job with them. And they're well coached. And, and um, we have great respect for them. And, and um, so we've got to understand that put this game behind us and, and, uh, and get ready for San Diego State. And that's what we just met about. We talked about the, you know, the strengths of, of what the Aztecs will present on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I just thought our administration, um, you know, the support that they've given us and, and the ideas that are constantly being thrown around with our marketing people is on a scale of 1 to 10 is a 12. Um, you know, having the DJ and, and uh, the students were absolutely, you know, it was amazing. Um, our guys felt it uh, two hours before the game to see that entire student section completely and utterly packed is what a big time college basketball atmosphere is like. And I think we're nationally, people are starting to notice uh, the crowds and, and, um, and the program's building in the right direction. And it takes everybody, it takes the players on the floor to play really hard uh, to gain the city's respect. It takes administration to do things like bring in Michael Buffer. It takes uh, marketing, uh, coming up with ideas on, on DJs and then follow, you know having the, guy, the DJ come back and, and our band does a great job. And, and um, there's just a lot of pieces that have come together to create an environment like this. And we, you know, we feel like if our guys can continue to do what we need to do on the floor and play hard every night, that this city will continue to, to rally around this ball club. And, and we feel like we're going to have great crowds the rest of the season here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've, I've told people, you know, I have not been in college a long time, um, but Arizona State and Arizona, I've been part of that rivalry, and it's a good rivalry. And, and, and when I was at LSU and Kentucky came, it was a really big game that the students got to the arena early and everything. But I'm, I'm telling you that this, this, this atmosphere and the two games that I've been a part of the home in Lawler, it's been incredible. I mean, I don't. I don't think that, that, that it, you know, it's second to none. Um, you know, when our football team plays UNLV, I feel it, you know, uh, whether I'm, you know, at the stadium here or if they're on the road. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, T.J. Bruce plays UNLV in baseball. You feel it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, and our campus feels it. You know, there's a dif different buzz today uh, than any other game. And, and – uh, and I thought our guys, again, I think that the whole tone was set by their preparation and practice because it was not an easy practice. We practiced in four different gyms this week um, throughout the city, and, and our guys came in every day and didn't matter where we practiced, they brought it every day. <laughs> I mean, he was just phenomenal. He, you know, the basket, you know, was, was really big for him. It seemed like anything he threw up was going in. He he uh, played with great confidence. His ability to draw the fouls tonight, I thought, was 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 really crucial. His his free throws attempted, and you know when you make five threes, sometimes guys start hunting for for extra shots. And I I didn't feel like he did that. Um, I felt like he let the game come to him, and uh, to score 37 points off 15 shots is you know you're not going to see many performances like that i just thought that again he didn't get shot happy um you know he and cam did you know they they carried us offensively i mean cam was was a point a minute tonight from for, you know scoring the ball and 
Uh, Cam rebounded tonight, and I thought Jordan Caroline did a great job on the glass, and then Deverro Ramsey came in and got a lot of loose ball rebounds uh, that, that we needed. It, it's things that we've, we've talked about, our guards helping us rebound the ball better, and we understand they're a great offensive rebounding team, not a good offensive rebounding team. And so I thought tonight the, the, the rebounding was, was the difference in the game. Just, uh, I, I, you know, I have great confidence in our in our offense. Um, we, you know, give give Utah State great credit. Um, you know, but we didn't come in and work on a bunch of offensive things this week. We still thought our defense let us down um, in the games that we haven't won this year. Again, even when we didn't score the ball well, because we know you know scoring can come and go, and three point shooting can come and go, but you know, rebounding and, and defense are what – that's how you're going to have to win on a nightly basis. You can't just try to outscore people. Um, and so we've talked about, you know, changing the technique of when your man catches and where your hand is, uh, you know, in the face and, and not down, hands in your pocket and, um, you know, getting closer to guys. And that's probably why we fouled more tonight too because we wanted to be a lot more physical from a defensive standpoint. The ball movement, you know, again, to have somebody score 37 points off 15 shots and then you look at our assists, we had, you know, we had 23 assists on 38 uh, field goals. And, and I thought I thought all of our guys, you know, shot selection, we shot 53% and we missed at least seven layups. Um, we got to do a better job finishing around the rim. Leland had a dunk. Uh, Josh had a missed layup, DeVerl did, and, and uh, you know, but I thought we attacked the rim and, and did a good job, uh, you know, sharing the basketball with one another. Any more questions for Coach? Thank you. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> I guess it gave me a sense of confidence, so, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Today, actually, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it today before shoot around. <laughs> yeah, no, I was really um, thinking about like, man, like this is my last game in this building and uh, against UNLV, and um, you know, I, we 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 got to win this one. So it feels great, like all the way across the board, it feels great. Um, I think it feels great. I mean, it's just um, it shows a lot of progress. Um, you know, you look at the history versus uh, UNLV and this rivalry, and you know, it's you know been pretty lopsided. And but you know, since I've been here, it's you know we've had the upper hand, and for us to uh, beat them by that much tonight, you know, it, it definitely shows progress. Can you feel? I mean, like, maybe either in the shooting round or maybe your first couple shots, that you are going to have that kind of game. Um. Yeah, actually, you know, I, I get a you know good feeling before the game, and uh, I'd seen it seemed like I was making more shots, and then once I started shooting the game, it started falling. It just seemed like the the rim just got bigger, um, and then I just I don't know, it just felt started feeling good. Uh, we actually didn't think about it, but um, we did. Um, there was a point in the game where uh, our defense was lacking, and even though we were up by over twenty, we t we said we wanted to win by thirty. Um, so we, we wanted to lock in uh, defensively and win by 30. It's close. How long will you be uh, from the Curtis family? Can you get that one? Uh, hopefully forever. I mean, you know, this is a career night for me um, in this building, and it feels it feels really good, and I'm really humbled and blessed about it. Um, so hopefully I can, you know, um, have a story to tell my kids one day. How much did you guys beat up tonight? There was a huge crowd with Michael Buffer. <laughs> yeah, that was that was awesome. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I I was really feeding feeding into that because Michael Buffer. I mean, I can remember him him calling boxing matches when I was a little kid, and 
and to be a part of that for him to you know say my name I was like oh man like this is awesome so we were definitely feeding off him and the crowd energy for sure Um, I think um, uh, the most pleasing thing about it was our assists. Um, we definitely were sharing the ball and um, getting good shots. And I think that's where we're best at because even if we have a bad shooting night and we know we're getting uh, the right shots, then we know it's going to fall eventually. Um, but, you know, against Utah State, we, we weren't taking good shots and we were missing shots. So um, it's, it's really nice to, to bounce back from that game. Um, it was de it was definitely one of those things where we knew that um, we had to step up defensively, um, regardless of our offense. We that was the theme of our, all week, and that was just another incentive for us to to play defense and uh, make us want to play harder. So um, it really helped, and um, I think we you know did a good job. Is the feeling on the floor different than Absolutely, I, yeah, you could just sense it. I mean, you know, you you say like. My mindset is to play every game like my last, but you know when UNLV comes and people, you just feel a different energy and it's just a whole another level almost. So, yeah, we feel that. Any more questions for DJ? I think DJ really explained it, man. It is, it's a great feeling, you know. I think college basketball, you know, everybody take their rival games really serious. You know, this is definitely one of the probably the most popular rival games, you know, and definitely locked in. And this is a great feeling uh, to to get these guys. You know, they're definitely a great team. But um, we we really keyed in for practice, you know, and we really uh, took it serious. I thought it was great, man. It's, it's great. It's unbelievable, you know. Um, definitely seeing uh, Michael Buffer here, you know, that, that was great, you know, and definitely coming into the arena and already seeing the student section is pretty much filled. You know, it's a great feeling for us, you know. It's definitely see how, how, how Reno and, you know, the school definitely has our back, you know, and our support. You know, um, it, it's great to have that, you know. Um, we're definitely capable of doing a, a lot of great things here, you know, and things that come our way, I think we definitely deserve it, you know, and just keep going off with it. Of course, yeah. Our next game is against San Diego State, and you know they're pretty much always the Mountain West favorites. You know, so uh, we got them here. You know, I did definitely got a chip on his shoulder for, uh, for us getting them here. You know, we got to come in with uh, with definitely high intensity. You know, really keen in for practice. You know, and um, just go in and try to get the win. Definitely, definitely. Um, I just think we we had a real sour taste in our mouths from that Utah State game. You know, definitely Coach Mus, he he definitely uh, wasn't really pleased, which we wasn't either. You know, so we definitely uh, really self-checked ourselves. You know, we had a team meeting with ourselves. You know, after the game, and this this really this this notice we got to buy in. You know, it's a target on our back. You know, and everybody's going to give us their best game. Everybody, every team in this in this conference is going to give us our, their best game. You know, so we've got to uh, come in prepared and. Um, Focus, so focus on defense, you know, and our offense definitely come. Uh, I think it just got we, got, we got comfortable, you know. Um, when we're all we're passing the ball, we're sharing the ball, you know. DJ, I mean, man, he's had 37, you know, he missed three shots. It's incredible. You know, uh, we definitely feed him the hot hand. You know, Marcus can do a lot of things. You know, Lindsey, Jordan, everybody that's, that contributed and got in the game, you know, definitely can do a, a lot of things. You know, so we're sharing the ball, we're having fun, and we're comfortable. It's sky's the limit for us. You know, um, we're we're a really capable offensive team. You know, and, and it's just fun for us. After the Utah State game, the week you guys have, and the rivalry and everything, do you have any idea or any thoughts that you guys maybe have an offensive explosion a few games in a row? Um. Yeah, and, and no, because um, um, I mean, with basketball, you you may never know with anything. You know. Uh, 
the, the, the Utah State game, just the ball didn't fall our way, man. It, it, it happens. You know, Marcus really had an off game. You know, uh, I mean, if we made those shots, I guarantee we'll, we'll be, what, 9-2 and two right now. You know, so it, 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 basketball is just like that, man. You know, and I definitely know we're, we're, we're capable of doing a lot of things here. Definitely capable, you know. And I, I, we keyed in. We, it, it left us really mad, you know, kind of like we had a really bad offensive game. So I knew our offense was going to be clicking against UNLV. Oh, that's my guy, man. That's my guy, yeah. Um, I talked to him when he was going through his injuries. You know, I just told him, man, keep your head up. You know, um, it's definitely your time will come. You know, and he, 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 when he plays, he definitely can produce. You know, um, hopefully I mean, he stays as healthy until Sunday comes, you know, so me and Nick can play against each other officially. You know, um, you know we'll just see how it goes from there. When did you guys meet? How old are you? We met in high school. So about probably freshman year, yeah, freshman, sophomore year. We was rivals in high school, too. Uh, I went to Grand High School. He went to Burbank. And then he ended up going to transfer to Laguna Creek. You know, so um, there's always, always tough games we play against him. Man. You were pretty highly recruited guy. I mean, did you look up to him, or was it more of you guys felt like you were equal player? I mean, we felt it was equal. I mean, I, I, I watched him. He watched me. You know, we, we definitely – I mean, with Sacramento, you know, with the high school, you know, we, we all support each other. You know, uh, simple as that. We just support each other. Whoever's, whoever's at the high hand, whoever is playing good, you know, we all support each other. Uh, at times, at times, you know, I mean, well, we focus on our season, our team. Any message for him before this game? <laughs> nah, we're here to see when we come. Thanks, man. Great. Um, I think we really played well as a team. Uh, we had a few mishaps, you know, on defense towards the end of the game. But respect to UNLV, they didn't give in. They didn't. They didn't let up on us. But I mean, I felt offensively, you know, piggybacking on what you know Derek and, and Cam said, um, we played great. We shared the ball. Twenty-three assists, eleven turnovers. Pretty good ratio. So if we continue to play like that offensively and in forty minutes defensively, it's got to be the limit. Hey, um, I don't know, man. It, it was, it was, it was. It's great to see a guy like you know Derek, you know, do things like that. For the simple fact, since I've been in Nevada, I always felt like he was one of the hardest working or the hardest working guy on our team. Um, he's, he's a guy you can look up to. He's always in the gym. He's always trying to learn from from other people. Um, he listens to what you say, and he's just always working on his game. And and can't do number respect that. And the results are shown now. So, I mean. It's crazy. I mean, 12, 15, 5 or 6 from 3. That's, I mean, it just shows all the hard work he's put in. It's, you know, paying off. You're big in your family. What does it feel like uh, to be on the court uh, in a UNLV Nevada game with the crowd? Uh, it was, I think it was what I expected, kind of like, you know, similar to last year. You know, watching from the bench, obviously it's different, you know, when you're playing in a game. But just the atmosphere and, you know, just even just, you know, pulling up to the game and just seeing a long line of students, you know, like, you know, they take this rivalry really, really serious. So it's it's really good to have a win like that, especially with with a crowd like that, a record crowd. I mean, you can't you can't let them them, them down for coming out on a rainy day like this. Man, they gave us a huge boost. Um, Devrell, Leland, and, and Josh came in, and I felt like they, they gave us some huge minutes. And I felt like they could do that, you know, down the road. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, we have guys on our team that plays like 30-plus minutes. You know, I think the whole starting five does. And just having guys like, you know, talented guys like them come in the game and just, you know, not, you know, let up or, or it's not a let off, you know what I'm saying, when we come out the game, it's, it's great to have that. So... I'm, I'm happy for those guys, and I'm proud about how those guys play. Do you guys have any doubt that you would bounce back offensively after losing last week? Uh, no doubt. I feel like that was one of our worst offensive games of the year. I mean, personally, I had probably the worst offensive game of the year. And I mean, you just gotta you just gotta stay confident. You know, as as a group. You know what I'm saying? Like, we won 18 games before that, and our offense, you know, pretty much all the time clicked. You know what I'm saying? We have so many different weapons out there, so. 
if one guy's off, the next guy, Jordan, Cam, DJ, Lindsey distributes. Like, you know, everybody could do different things. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, even the guys coming off the bench. So we weren't really too worried about that. We honestly were just worried about, you know, the defensive end because that's where it starts. And that could create easy buckets for us. That's pretty lit, man. <laughs> that was pretty. <laughs> it was pretty lit. I liked it. It was cool. It was really cool. It was cool. I'm glad I got to experience something like that. Was that something you guys knew was coming, or? No, nah, we didn't find out it was coming until um, the day before. But actually, it probably would have been best if they would have kept that a secret, probably, because they probably really surprised us. But I mean, when we found out he was coming. It was like, man, that's crazy. But yeah, man, his. I don't know. His voice is something else. Any more questions?